Hey guys, this is Tim from Tim's Electronics Lab and welcome back to a new video. Now as promised, in this video I'll be unboxing the rechargeable coin cells that I've just received. And we're going to well, try to charge them with this uh, coin cell battery charger. And yeah, see what happens. So, I haven't removed them out of the packaging yet, so let's do that real quick. Get the trusty old knives out. So there we go. So it's a pack of. Well, I was about to say four, but it actually looks like it's a pack of five. That's quite random. So these are Lear 2032, 3.6 volts rechargeable coin cell batteries. Yes, they are. And this one is also a Lear uh, 2032. Uh, now let's see what these are. Oh. Quite sharp, the plastic in which they are put in. Now, by the way, you might be wondering, do I sound any different? Well, yes, I am using my new microphone set. Now, I bought the Lefelier, Lefelier, those clip-on mics for a new YouTube channel that I'll be doing. And no, no worries, it's not a replacement for this channel and I am trying my best to actually run both channels. Which is going to be a challenge, but yeah, we like challenges. Now I'm wondering, did I order 10 batteries? It seems a little bit too much. And another 5 of these, which is quite an odd number. But I'm a little bit confused as if this is correct. Well, I'll check with the order, I guess, then. Well, it is correct. I actually ordered five of these and ten of those. So, yeah. I placed the order some time ago. So, I think that, yeah, I just forgot about it. So, let's measure the voltages at which the cells are. so you can see them yeah I think that these are all okay I'm curious that they put a single cell in a plastic bag and the rest just yeah Alright, so let's just insert this one as well. Let's get this out of the way. Oh. Now there is my trusty old power brick, power wall. And let's insert this into the... It does light up actually. If you are able to see that, the screen lights up. I didn't do that before, so let's... Insert it and let's turn on the power. Yeah, it says it's charging, so we can actually test it if it's really charging with the milliamp setting. So let's see how much power it's putting into this thing. It was quite a lot actually. 40 milliamps. Well, it's definitely charging. That's great. Well, 40 milliamps is uh, quite reasonable. I was uh, expecting somewhere in the likelihood of, well, maybe 
three or four milliamps. Oh, it just drops. Well, I do think that a cover is missing because there is something over here and I, I think that a cover is missing. It also makes sense for this thing. Not sure what it is and what it's there for, but So yeah, it seems like these are actually working, so yeah, they're compatible with uh, with this charger, so that's really nice. So let's remove them from the holders, so yeah. Like I said, it's, uh, it's going to be uh, a quick update of the, uh, the coin cell project. I'm hoping that I've never got to uh, get to run out of these batteries again and I'm also hoping that the um, devices that use these batteries are compatible with 3.6 volt batteries because I think that the regular CR2032s are 3 volts if I remember correctly and I'm not sure if they can handle a voltage of 4 volts because that's something else. I mean, yeah, it's a volt over three volts, but it's, you know, for those small electronics, it's, uh, yeah, it's quite something. So, well, it does say that the maximum output is at 4.2 volts, 300 milliamps max. Now, I don't think that it's a good idea to put 300 milliamps in one of these batteries. I think they will pretty much blow up straight away, but I'm not sure. Please let me know down below how you like my voice this time, because I'm, as I said, I'm using, I can show it to you real quick, I'm using something different now. Yeah, this is the, the Boya. Uh, by WM4 Pro. It's a, a dual channel uh, wireless microphone set. So the receiver is able to receive two streams and combines them into a single stream. Oh, I do need to remove this battery. And yeah, it's just a. Uh, I think it's quite a good set actually. It, it feels uh, okay. It has triple A batteries instead of the proprietary uh, batteries. So if your battery is empty, you can just swap them out with a new pair of triple A batteries and you're ready to go. So let me know down below how I sounded, if you like it or not. And then I will catch you guys next time. Bye. Oh, hey, hello. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting you over here. Well, if you want, you can also view two other videos of me. So make sure to click them and don't forget to subscribe and like so you always get notified of my new videos.